Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is January the 26th, Tuesday, and this is episode number 91 of my three business tips at three o'clock in under three minutes. Today, we're going to talk again about different ways to do sales, especially when you're starting out. Now, some of you that are watching this, you are not solopreneurs starting into a new business. So we're going to tackle some of these tactics. Not all of them are ideal, but some of them make sense when you're first getting started. So what we're going to talk about today are lost leaders, value clients, and email list. Lost leaders. I met one of my mentors that was running a Minuteman press. He doesn't do that anymore. He's retired and sold it. But he were talking about lost leader clients. And in his business, he would provide a ridiculously low cost business card. The reason he would provide business cards for new businesses is because it would be an introduction into his business. And it actually it was priced so low that he actually lost money on every one of these business card clients and bring on. So I asked him, I said, why in the world would you sell business cards for X number of dollars? It's very, very inexpensive. And he says, well, any new business is putting together a business card. It's probably going to need paper, copy material, printed brochures and everything else. And it gets added to my email list. They get added into the queue. They get introduced into my business. And we have a real high percentage of upselling them in the future. This was a great answer to a lost leader. So this is concept is, is that you don't give it away for free, but you provide a particular service to a new client. That's usually a really small piece of your business with the intent of bringing them into the queue and for the intent of upselling them bigger information later. That is great. A lost leader. What are the lost leaders in your business that you could offer that would be only for new clients that while it may cost you a few dollars would be beneficial to get them into your organization or introduced to it. That's my first business tip. Lost leader clients. Number two fits in line with this. When you first start out, you may do what I call value trades. I'm not a fan of this, but when you're first starting out, you could do this. What it is, it's a fancy word of saying bartering. It's where I provide a service in exchange for another service where there's no monetary value that actually takes place. Now be very careful. Uh, the IRS requires you to fill out uh, 1099B about these for bartering as to the actual value of it. But when you're first starting out, you may want to do this. We did this in our very first website we built. We built it for a pizza place. We traded uh, a couple months of free lunches in exchange for a referral and a new web design. I've done this with a dentist where I might give them a free website in exchange for dental services. Again, it's ideal in the beginning. It's not ideal long term. Third and final tip is that you got to build your email list. You've heard me talk about this all the time. We talked about it in newsletters in previous episodes, but you got to be building and adding to your email list daily. I have an author friend of mine who takes every business card, every phone call, every human being he meets, he gets their email and he adds them to his list. That is a good practice. So again, a review, lost leaders, value trading or bartering and add to your email list. I tell you this so you guys can be awesome. Now go back to sleep. <laughs>